I thought I'd explain a little bit uh, about what we're doing. So we are racing from Exmouth. Um, I'll try and put up a little map here somewhere. Um, but the plan today, race from Exmouth out around the end. Uh, we've got a couple of waypoints we've got to pick up on the way just to get times. Um, and then round Berry Head, so missing out like the Torbay Bay, all the way round and then into Dartmouth. Um, there are three fleets, it's about six boats in each fleet, so three different starts. We are in the slowest fleet and we are the slowest boat in the slowest fleet. So we should physically arrive there last. Um, but then obviously it will be handicapped. So we've got a fair chance of working our way up. Our handicap is ridiculously slow. We think we might be quicker than it is. So we're sort of hoping that we don't win because we don't want people to question that. So we're thinking third of our fleet would be ideal. Um, we're just doing some last minute uh, bits of maintenance, getting ourselves ready. James is setting up his uh, nav pilot thing and then we'll set off. All right, to give you a little tour. Uh, this is James. Morning. Uh, this boat is Windseeker, a Hurley 20. This is gonna be our winning ticket. And down below, we've got space for two and that's space for the front. Just getting a little pre-race breakfast on. Prep all done, breakfast had. We are off to find the start line. We've made it to the start line. So the line, I can't quite see it, is between red and yellow boy over there and then this committee boat behind me. Um, there's not much wind at the moment. There's other boats on the same line as us also with no wind, but further ahead, they seem to have some. So hopefully it's making its way here, but obviously we're gonna have the same wind as everyone else, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we definitely got the wind. It's hit, it's hit us, nice. We are just 
adjusting some sails. Um, we did cross the line last, a couple of technology issues. Too much technology, that was the problem. <laughs> the technology was telling us at different times what the flags were, but we're all good. We're literally 30 seconds behind. Um, we can't work out, there's either five boats ahead or six boats ahead, but as we carry on, we'll see if one of them falls off or not. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Behind me you can see the next fleet getting ready for their start, which will be 15 minutes after us. Slowest boat, we're still keeping up with the others, which is good. We should be dropping right behind. Um, but our tactics at the moment is basically a straight, sort of uh, close reach uh, over to Berry Head. So we're trying to stay with the pack but maintain ourselves as the, the most windward boat of the pack. That's, that's currently the plan. I mean, we're no experts. update um, just on the helm and we've had a bit of a wind shift so we're able to bear down a bit more now so the second start has started and you can see them uh, have actually caught us up and then the third and final start have started also they're still a way back but they're the fastest I fully expect them to um, overtake us soon. Yeah, this wind direction is alright. It's uh, it's advantageous in that we can bear down around Berry Head. Um, but it means the more it swings around to our right, the more we're gonna lose the wind as we come around the headland. Yeah, keep you updated. Give you another update. Much flatter, which isn't good for us. Uh, the wind has died right off. Um, boats behind us have also lost it. There's a boat way in the distance, which I can see they've still got it, so I think we are heading towards some more wind. But yeah, everything around us at the moment, we're in a bit of a lull. Um, but everyone's experiencing the same, so... Fastest boat of the fastest fleet. There we go. I think, I think that's the second fastest boat we've ever taken. Wind's back. We're just getting a couple of boats overtaking us, which is the fast fleet. 
two more behind us. Um, feels a bit disheartening, but it's all to be expected. They're considerably quicker than us. Still got good wind. Uh, this yellow boat over here, we're pretty sure is the last boat. So it's coming up the back of the fast fleet. So that's now overtaken us, which puts us at the back, um, which is still fine. That's what we're expecting. This uh, mark coming up to uh, the ore stone as we go around the corner, that's our first mark to take a time of. Um, and we think distance wise that mark's about halfway, uh, but time wise, probably not quite. Because as we come round and up into Dartmouth, it's probably going to be a bit of a beat. So, time wise, not quite halfway yet. But we're making good time. We've been racing for two hours and 20 minutes. Um, so five hours about to come in is what we're, what we're expecting if, if the wind holds. So we're just going. Okay, so that's the peak of the ore stone. And we're looking at 290, bang on. Okay. So that over there is the ore stone. And we're just writing down our time. So that was the first of the two marks we have to write our time. The ore stone over here. And then we've got Berry Head ahead of us. A little bit of an update with the wind. It's come further round in front, further round to the west. So it's meaning certainly the guys in front are having to bear off quite a bit. We're trying to head as high towards Berry Head as we can. Um, but yeah, we, we can't get anywhere near up that way as much as we can. And once we get around the corner, that's when we're gonna have to beat uh, or tack upwind. So yeah, just trying to pinch out towards the wind as much as we can on this leg at the minute. We are just coming up close to Berry Head. Sorry, we're leaning quite a bit here. That would be flat. Uh, we're just coming up to Berry Head where we've got our second bearing to give a time of. Uh, yeah, the wind's picked up a fair bit around this corner. We've got 4.8 knots out of the boat. Um, we are way behind the others. Really hard to tell if, let me get you down out the wind. Really hard to tell if we're doing all right or if uh, we're falling behind. Um, but yeah, very head. Let me just show you on the uh, thing here. So you can see here, there's Berry Head. And then we need to go up around into Dartmouth there. And our current heading, our ideal heading for course is the purple. You can see where we've had to come off because of the wind on the yellow. And then the red is our current heading. So we're gonna have to tack a bit once we go up around that corner. So we've been trying to be a little bit tactical. We're coming up to the last sort of corner around the headland. Well, the wind's really come straight head on now. Um, but what's annoying is the boats that are ahead of us, by the time the wind shifted, they were already far enough ahead to be getting it side on. So for them, it was an advantage and they've just sailed straight in on a reach. Um, but us just being that little bit further behind, <coughs> it's been a real negative because we're now having to tack straight our wind to get up around the corner. So I think it screwed us uh, race-wise. Um, 
but I mean, it's now 2.30. Uh, straight line it from here would be an hour, but obviously we can't do that. So we're thinking maybe two hours from here. So that gets us in at 4.30, still reasonable. Six o'clock is the cutoff um, in terms of we wouldn't be in the race anymore if we were after that. So yeah, still, still in the game at the moment. I have no idea if you can uh, hear me on this camera, um, but I'll try. So that behind us is, that's the first cardinal, that's the southerly cardinal. And then coming up around in front, we've got another one. We have to go round that, then we can bear off, and then that's the finish line. have no idea where we're going. We're on the visitors uh, pontoon, which is somewhere down this left-hand side. Um, it's going to be a bit of trial and error trying to find it, so probably won't film again until we're moored up. made it, we've burst. Um, that was pretty funny. Everyone was saying as we came in then at the last bit, how uh, they could see us further back in the wind and how we were having to tack up through it on the beat and they'd already made it through. So it's nice that that was 
noted as well. Um, we're just going to sort of pack up now, get our sails away properly because it's a bit of a mess. Um, and then probably have a beer. Hmm. What are you up to? Yeah, yeah. And, then, uh, and then they caught back up with us and we tacked it and crossed behind. Hello, so we're at Dartmouth Yacht Club. Um, apparently there's another Dartmouth Royal Yacht Club over there, which we weren't aware of. So we have ended up at the right one. There is a prize giving, of which we will come full on dead last. Um, but they're all having dinner at the moment. So we're waiting for them to finish that. And then we will go in and be told we're last. James, you wanna, how did you earn that lovely jacket you're wearing? Well, it was through uh, uh, I guess lackluster sailing. What, was, what <laughs> position did we come? We came last. We came. Yeah. Last. Well, I mean, it's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, I like it. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. S strong last, though. Yeah. Absolutely last. Yeah. No, no doubt about it. In fact, uh, so last do you get a prize, which is you know, it's a prize. Finally gone to bed. Night night. How's it going? He's getting in. Hello. Morning, morning, morning. James feeling fresh? We are on our way out of Dartmouth. It's about 8 a.m. Um, bang on high tide, just turning actually to head out, so perfect on that. I didn't sleep great because James snores like an absolute bastard. Um, so I've promised that at some point on today's trip, I'm going to take a sneaky little hour and go back down to sleep down here. The wind today is nothing, really. So we're motoring out and there's every chance that we're going to have to motor for a while. But we both agreed that we're better off... We're better off getting some distance motoring to wait for the wind and hanging around here to wait for some wind and then it hits and we're five miles behind where we could have been. So that's the plan. Motor for a bit, cook some breakfast, have a coffee and uh, yeah, see where we end up. I think it's going to be quite a calm today, so. left. Uh, as suspected, there is zero wind. We're just going to round this corner. Uh, we'll probably go slower than we're going now. Just keep ourselves in tick over. Heading back. Based on the weather, there will be less filming than yesterday because there's only so much of going straight with the engine on and no wind that uh, you'll want to see. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah. well, I hope you enjoyed the racing yesterday. Let's get home. We're just coming round across Tor Bay now. Um, still no wind really. We've passed Berry Head just behind us. Um, this is inside to sort of talky and that kind of thing. Um, oh wait, dolphin, there's dolphins. Okay, head, head over, head over, dolphins over there. Is it? Yeah, a couple of them, lots of them, lots of them, loads of them. There's loads of them. I just, there's like six, seven.
Oh, that's pretty epic. <laughs> we are coming past, that's Tinmouth in there. Um, we've got one more headland to go around. We're still motoring as, uh, as there's no wind, but that's fine. We're making better time back than we made on the way there. It's now 10.36. Probably another two hours back, I'd say, maybe not even that. Um, yeah, ha to be fair, happy with, happy with the lack of wind today. It's meant that we can make ourselves some coffee, make breakfast, see the dolphins, all that kind of stuff. Um, more refreshed now than when I first woke up, but it's still nice not to be not be beating up wind all the way back, which could have happened. somewhere um, that was the start line so all the way back now just head up the channel into Exmouth past Exmouth, Exmouth up to Starcross and uh, yeah more up I hope you've enjoyed our little sailing trip uh, if you've been kind enough to watch this all the way to the end and you're not subscribed then please subscribe that'd be absolutely lovely and I'll see you in the next one peace Go sailing.